<coughs> yeah, so um, it's right around 2.30 p.m. on Sunday, um, February 6th, and the thing that lives on the other side of the shared wall of their kitchen with my bathroom, and I'm pointing to the shared wall right now, she has been sitting in that bathroom for the last hour and a half <clears throat> while I've been lying in bed uh, pretending to sleep. And as soon as I started turning over in bed and showing signs that I might be waking up, she started getting really agitated against the shared wall of her bathroom with my kitchen area. And <laughs> the thing that lives directly below me at 76 at that same time um, started making super loud banging noises directly below me. And the creep across the street, I mean, there's, they're all creeps in the building across the street. My understanding is that they're, it's a holding pen for perverted nut jobs and bottom feeding low life scumbags. Um, one of them started screaming and shouting, Hey, bitch, hey, bitch, as soon as I started moving around on my bed, even though my head was still covered, I sleep with a scarf over my head just to <clears throat> for privacy purposes. So they had no way of knowing that I was actually waking up um, unless they could see what I was doing. And the uh, there's a human tapeworm really living in the bathroom on the other side of this wall because she spends her entire life pretty much as far as I can tell on the other side of that wall where the tinfoil is. <clears throat> the tinfoil is there for privacy purposes because every single time I go to my sink um, and try to use the water, she's right on the other side of that wall. And I don't know where she can see what I'm doing at my sink. So anyway, she started burning or smoking some kind of nauseating and sickening smelling narcotic or chemical as soon as I started moving around on my bed. And that was an hour ago. So I stopped moving to see if it would, if it would go away. Um, and it did until I started moving again. And then it started again. And the <clears throat> thing directly below me in 76, each time I moved also made loud, sudden banging noises. But right now it's totally quiet. So those banging noises and the fumes and the screaming and shouting out on the street or across the street happen only when I was moving on my bed. So if I turned over, there would be sudden agitation and noise. And if I didn't move, it stopped. And if I turned over again, then it would start again, which means, again, this apartment is somehow bugged. And for reasons that I can't understand, these people <clears throat> like to watch what I do or like to hear what I do because obviously they have nothing else going on. Like they have such empty, useless existences that they spend all of their time hanging on to what I do and reacting to it in real time every single time I do it. And that's the thing. There is a set of events that happens every single time I do certain things in this apartment, but not others. And right now, nobody is making noises below me. There's no creep across the street screaming, hey, bitch, hey, bitch. That only happens when I am waking up and I sit up in bed or I look like I'm about to sit up in bed, they react to it very aggressively. There's also certain things that happen only when I happen to try to sit on my toilet seat. Those things don't happen when I'm, you know, walking around my apartment, let's say. So again, and, and there's a certain set of symptoms that happens when I start using the water from my tap when there's something in it that makes me sick. It only happens when I'm using the water from that tap. Again, it doesn't happen when I'm anywhere else doing anything else. So there are certain sets of events that happen when I'm doing certain things in this unit that happen pretty much every single time I do them that indicate some type of interference that is deliberate um, and criminal. So I'm just gonna keep logging this as it happens.